The richest man on the planet, Elon Musk, flew halfway around the world yesterday. He donned a flak jacket and he got a personal tour of a kibbutz that had been attacked by Hamas in southern Israel, a tour that was led by Prime Minister Netanyahu himself. And Mr. Musk was pretty transparent about why he was there. Shortly after landing in Israel, Musk posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, which he owns. Musk posted, actions speak louder than words. Now, Mr. Musk did not specify which words he was referring to in that post, but this very public display of unity with Israel and with Prime Minister Netanyahu, that comes as Elon Musk is in the hot seat. He is there specifically for endorsing an anti-Semitic conspiracy theory on X, calling the anti-Semitic theory the actual truth. That, surprise, surprise, led to a mass exodus of advertisers from the platform, which then appears to have led to this very public Musk apology tour yesterday. And you might think, given that he had just flown halfway around the world and toured the site of a massacre to clean up the mess he had made for publicly endorsing a conspiracy theory, you might think Elon Musk would think twice before endorsing another conspiracy theory. But apparently not. Because today, Elon Musk posted a meme pushing a conspiracy theory that is literally the most clear-cut textbook example of why pushing a conspiracy theory is dangerous. Pizzagate. In December of 2016, a 28-year-old man entered the Comet Pizza Parlor in Northwest Washington, D.C., and pulled out a semi-automatic AR-15-style rifle. The staff and patrons at Comet, including children, all fled. But the man, Edgar Welch, who had driven six hours through multiple states to get to this particular pizza place, he stayed inside. He shot the lock off a closet and he moved all the furniture. Edgar Welch was looking for proof that the pizza parley, parlor was actually the, let me check my notes here, the, the home base of a child sex trafficking ring run by Hillary Clinton. That conspiracy, known colloquially as Pizzagate, was spread online primarily through fabricated news articles with headlines like FBI insider, Clinton emails linked to political pedophile sex ring, and it's over, NYPD just raided Hillary's property. What they found will ruin her life. All of that was fake. It has been debunked over and over again. But it still convinced a man to storm a pizza parlor with an AR-15 style rifle. And that history here of fake news leading to a real world attack, that makes it all the more astounding that the particular Pizzagate conspiracy theory that Elon Musk pushed today was also based on a fake news story. It came from a literally doctored New York Post headline that read, award-winning journalist who debunked Pizzagate pleads guilty in horrific child porn case. Reuters fact-checked this months ago. That headline did not actually ever exist. And Pizzagate has been, again, debunked over and over again. But still, Elon Musk bought into it. A few hours ago, Mr. Musk deleted the Pizzagate post Maybe this time he's learned his lesson, or maybe not.